Hello everyone, and welcome to a very red edition of the Friday New Product Post. We have a lot of new stuff this week, so let's dive in and talk about what we've got. First up, I wanna talk about these red boxes right here. These are all the European versions of our soldering kits and tool kits. These have the 230 volt iron instead of the normal 110, so all you overseas customers can now use these. We've got the Learn to Solder Simon Says, the Learn to Solder Big Time, we've got the Beginner Tool Kit, and the Intermediate Tool Kit. We do not have the Deluxe Tool Kit because we can't get that specific iron in the 220, 240 range. So these are the exact same kits that we have been selling, except for they just have the um, different voltage iron. So you don't have to get a converter or anything like that. They do have just the um, standard European plug, which I can show you. Here you go, this is the plug that it uses. So that gives you an idea of what you're working with. And um, go ahead and check out the four new kits if you need the different voltage. Next up, we've got this. This is the Fab FM radio kit. We've got two built-up examples right here. Um, we've got this one, which is just the um, standard one that comes with the kit. And then on this one, we've actually had a little bit of um, felt around it to give it a little bit more style and an enclosure. Inside, we've got this little slip of paper that just directs you to the instructions. I believe it goes to the GitHub repository, which has a lot of information and some assembly instructions on it. And then we've got the PCB and all the components. We've got the speaker, length of wire for the antenna, and then all the laser cut wood pieces right there. So includes everything you need, and it's a pretty simple assembly. Actually, we're gonna do something a little different this week. I'm actually going to assemble this on camera just to show you, you know, what you're in for and what it takes to actually assemble one of these, and then we'll turn on and show you what it looks like when it's operating. So I'm just gonna separate the components out here and kind of group them. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do is these little caps right here. Um, we've got two different values. We've got um, this guy and then all these. If you look on the board, you can see all these um, 0.1 UF, and then we've got a 1 NF right there. And just by process of elimination, we can see that this guy is probably the 1 NF. But if you want to look on the actual cap themselves, there's a 102 and a 104. The 104s will fit into the um, 0.1 UF slots, and the 102 will go into the 1 NF. So let's go ahead and solder those in. Now that we have all those soldered, I'm just gonna clip off the leads. Don't clip these too close. You wanna leave a little bit of room. You just don't wanna start cutting into that solder joint that you just made. So next we're going to solder in the resistors. There are two 10Ks and two 15Ks. I'm gonna start with the 10s for no good reason. The 10s are brown, black, and orange, and the others are the other color. So we're just gonna go ahead and put these in there. So just bend the leads, pop them down. And now for the 15Ks. So now that we've got in the, those in there, we're gonna clip the leads again. So next thing we're gonna do is solder in some of the smaller caps. So you'll see them right down here. There are these two 10UF caps um, that go down here. So we're gonna go ahead and solder those in there. Pay attention to the polarity. You see on the caps, they have this little um, white stripe that has a negative symbol. Make sure that matches up with the negative symbol on the PCB. And now I'm going to solder on this little header. Um, this is the header that actually connects to the um, SI4703 breakout board, which is the um, radio decoder. We're gonna solder it like that so that the board will stand up vertically as such. So what I like to do with headers is just solder one and then get everything positioned and then go back and solder the rest. I'm just gonna adjust it a tiny bit. I'll finish soldering the rest of these joints. And there's nothing to clip here, so we can just leave that as is. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the rest of the components. So I'll solder the 220 into place. These big caps are labeled. Pay attention to the polarity symbols of GAN. And now for the other one. And now we're going to start putting in the final components. Um, we've got the IC right here, and um, that is actually going to go right here. And we've got the other IC on the back, which is gonna go there. And then we've got the actual breakout board and then just the um, little voltage regulator. So let's get the voltage regulator out of the way and then go on to the ICs. You can see there's some silk right down here that shows the orientation of this. You see there's a double line that indicates that the little tab will go towards this side of the board. So let's pop that down inside there. 
Now let's just um, open up these packages and solder in the ICs. For the first IC, you're going to notice that there's a white little dot right there, which corresponds with the notch on this IC. So we're going to line those up. You're going to flip this over. The other IC is on the back. This is the Atmega 328, and this should be pre-programmed, ready to go. And this goes right here in this big slot. Notice it's got a little notch at the end corresponding to the notch on the PCB. So we're going to solder these in place. The only thing left to do is actually mount the board, mount the DC inlet jack, and then the two, well, the pot and the rotary encoder. So when we solder on the breakout, we're going to make sure that the component side faces inwards into the board, like that. And there you go. The board is finished. So let's go ahead and assemble the case. Um, the case basically consists of all these little cross pieces, and then we have two pieces for the front and the back. And they kind of sandwich together so you don't need any screws or glue. First, we're going to take this piece, and we're going to line it up with the front. You can see that do, these two holes correspond with the two adjustment knobs, but you can see there's a little nub here and a little nub on the bottom. Those will correspond to the little hole here and that little hole. So when we push these through, those should line up. And you also see there's a couple little nubs on the bottom that will line up with the holes on the bottom of the board. Next, we're going to slide these pieces through all the way to the front, wiggle them back and forth until they come through. And then we're going to take this piece and fit it over the back. And then the board will sit nicely on those two little nubs. And these extra two pieces will actually fit down below here. And now we're ready to put the front and the back on. Now at this time, you can actually do a little customization. So on this one, you can see that we've actually taken this piece of felt and we've put it in between those two pieces. So right here, you could add a piece of felt or whatever piece of fabric you want that could wrap around and make you know, a more solid enclosure if you wanted. So it's at this point that you would actually wrap that around, glue it or tack it or somehow attach it to this, then put the final two pieces on. So before we put on the front face, we're actually going to put the speaker in. The speaker basically just sits down in like that, and then this piece goes on to hold it in place. In addition to just placing the speaker in there, we actually need to cut off some wire and solder that into the bottom of the PCB right there. What you want to do is you want to take a section of wire that's going to be able to get to the bottom of the PCB and up to the speaker, uh, you know, maybe about that long, and just cut off two sections from the um, big wire that you got. The rest of this will be used for the antenna. So we're just going to cut off two sections of that, flip the speaker over, and you can see we've got two little terminals right there, and we're just going to attach the wires like that. I like to give a little dab of solder onto the terminal, and then a little dab of solder onto the wire, and then attach it like that. Feed the wires through, put the speaker in place, and right now I'm just going to go ahead and put this on just so the speaker doesn't fall out when I tilt it, and I'm just going to flip this over, feed the wires through, and solder them right on the underside right there. So make sure you line up positive with positive, negative with negative. And now with the length of wire that you have left over, we're going to connect this to the breakout, and this is going to be our antenna. And the antenna hole is right here on the breakout. You can see there's a little hole right there, and we're just going to solder the rest of the wire into that. And this loose antenna wire can just kind of drape around something like that. And now all we have left to do is put on the back plate and put on the knobs. So just press the back plate on. The rotary encoder really doesn't have a position to it. It's going to spin indefinitely, but the um, volume and on-off switch will. So you might want to orient the um, little line to where it actually looks like it's off, something like that. And there you go. The radio kit is complete. Let's turn on and see if we can get some stations. There we go. We're probably not going to get the best reception here inside the building, but let's see if we can get another station. Keeps turning. The Senate cannot afford to forever stand still. Justice failing to deal with our... 
So there you have it, this is the Fab FM Radio Kit. So there you have it, another Friday new product post. Go ahead and tune into the website and see what other products you might want to pick up, and we'll see you again next week with even more new products. Thank <laughs> you.